they're like, JC, did you get beat up? I'm like, no. I mean, I've looked like this before when I've, I've gotten beat up, but uh, not this time. Just checking in, guys. Been gone for a little bit. Uh, been going back and forth to Mexico a lot. Uh, getting a lot, a lot of work done inside my mouth. You know, throughout the years of, of me being a kid, uh, I was really never taught hygiene. I was really never taught to uh, brush my teeth, uh, uh, take a shower, and what he what he did to me uh, obviously traumatized me with water, and I, I didn't want nothing to do with water. So, you know, throughout my my years into a I guess you could say teenager, I was a smelly kid kid that a lot of people didn't want to be around because I was that person also I didn't care about living I didn't care about I didn't care about a lot of things that's why I was always running the streets and, and trying to find home find love find find a lot of things and man, it's important for me to share my message what uh, what Jesus has done in my life because I know there's I know there's a million JCs out there. So let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I spit to my back for my shoelaces. God out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I Went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron the Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. So I tell us about one, and we're about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ron the Strong. All in your name, all in your glory. Thank you Jesus for what you did on the cross for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah guys. Um, as you can see, my whole, my right side is completely swole, and my left side is also. Um, they've been doing a lot of intense work inside my mouth, trying to fix my my jaw, um, my jaw, my bones, uh, just trying to fix. Uh, a lot of damage has been done throughout the years from, um, you know, getting beat up. Not just once, but twice, three times, four times, you know. Um, we really don't think about it, but when we're, we're living in those lives and we, we get hit in the head with a pipe or a shot or ran over or, or just... We, we don't think about it because we're in the in the heat of that moment, right? And it's just, we, we just write it down as a uh, war wound. That's it, right? I mean, eventually you're gonna answer for it because eventually you're gonna you're gonna get old and um, you're gonna start to feel the aches and the pains and, and that's what happens. Um, me, uh, I've uh, never, never been shot. I've been stabbed one, two, three, four, five times. I've been stabbed five times and I've been beat up a lot. I've been hit over the head with, the, with a rock, a pipe, a bat, 
Um, I bend my uh, eye socket has been uh, broken. My jaw has been broken. Um, I cut both of my wrists. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of injuries. I, I got beat up. I got beat up a lot, a lot. I was trying to explain to my wife because like in, in Mexico when, when we first moved out there and I was just, just a kid, um, that's how it was over there. It was really rough, really, no matter how old you were, you were you were a man of the house and, and you protected the women and if somebody, you know, disrespected them, you stepped up and and you got beat up. You got beat up by older guys. So like, uh, so throughout, throughout the years, you know, of living like that, you know, uh, going to prison, you know, not having hygiene on the street as a kid and, and, and I honestly acting like a little like a little animal I started to lose most of my teeth um it, it uh it, it's just it's normal in prison they, they don't fix them in there they they see that they're bad they take them out and that's what started happening I started taking them out started taking them out and my mouth started getting bad to the point where since it was broken and it wasn't put back together the way it should have, I was talking and chewing sideways instead of up and down. So I mean, you guys heard 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 me when I I, I don't speak well. I don't say word, words the right way. Um, I always make fun of it, you know. I always say, yeah, it's because of all the drugs and the beatings and and just everything in general, but. It is true. It is true. You know, I've I've put my life through 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 a hard through a hard episode, a hard chapter. You know, and um, uh, we're getting um, most most of my jaw fixed. They had to open me up and put bone in there for it to grow again, and it's it's gonna take it's gonna take maybe about two years to get it completely fixed. I was always scared, scared of going. I, I just, I hate getting cut up. I hate getting like stitched up and, and just, you know, I just, it's a phobia that I have. And um, it was just time that I needed to, to, to do that. Um, it was on my bucket list for me to feel like, just better about myself because I have so many teeth missing and, and I like, like it was important and it's something I wanted in my heart and, and God has, has has blessed me, you know. God has, has been really good to me. God has, this will take some time. They'll start fixing the back of my mouth and move into the front. Uh, they took all the screws out yesterday that I had of that metal plate that I had going across my, my socket, my eye socket going down this way. Uh, I have another plate over here that they might take out, who knows, but um, I'm happy, I'm happy and, and you know, um, I've always felt very, very like uh, about my smile, you know, because I know it's, I know a, a smile tells a lot about a person, I know it does, and, and we can sit here and lie and, and say no, but it affects you a lot. I, I see a lot of guys that come home from prison that have missing teeth uh, be very, very embarrassed when they're going to like interviews and stuff like that and hide their mouth and, and you know, and it's just, it's something big, something big that I'm grateful that God has blessed me the way he has and you know, I don't know if I ever told you told you guys the story. Like, uh, I I went to a, like a nonprofit organization down here when I when a couple years back, and they fitted me for some dentures. And I had already was like, all right, so I'll wear I'll wear dentures. Who cares? You know what I mean? Like, as long as you don't see those teeth missing there, I'll wear dentures. And no shame in my game. And I went, I got fitted, and I got them. But something inside me made me feel so guilty because like, I know that there's people worse off than me that probably need them more because at least I got a couple of teeth I could still chew with. 
You know what I mean? And there's there's people that don't don't have any. So I didn't want to go pick them up, and I was just I was honest with with uh, with John, and I I was honest with the lady at the place, and and they were like, just just come and get them. You know, you you we made them for you. Yeah, uh, we 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 were able to make them for you. You deserve them. So just come and get them. And I, I went and I got them, and and I was at, I was like, all right, cool. You know, I have them. And then an hour later, my 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 client. I have two Jewish clients that have been with me for a while, and I get a phone call, and he's like, "Hey, so me, uh, Ken, and Steve, we we spoke, and we decided that we're gonna give you uh, half of the money to uh, to get like your, your jawline fixed and, and your teeth put in." Um, I was about to lose like all of them in the back, so like it was only a matter of time before the front ones were gonna go too. So you know, this was like an emergency, and God is good. You know, um, I I know that it, it's easy to you know praise Him and and be happy and, and all that when everything's going well, when He's blessing you. You know. Uh, getting your teeth fixed, putting your kids back in your life, um, um, all these things, but you also have to think about it as that, like, like a person, a person that's never speeding, that's never breaking the law, never, never staying in his lane, never doing nothing he shouldn't, never gets arrested, never, you know, gets a ticket, never gets pulled over, never even becomes, uh, you know, a key person that cops want to talk to because they don't do nothing wrong. That's what it is. So that you do what's right. God first. Love God, love your neighbor. My name is JC. This is just a personal story that I share with you guys, part of my life, my walk. Um, here and there, I really want to get these these messages in where I'm, I just talk to you personally with no message, just coming from my heart and, and just telling you how I feel and what I'm going through because um, this has been a, a beautiful walk for me. It has. And, uh, you know, I don't cry as much no more, but I am very, very happy and a lot of peace in my heart. And, and I, I want to share everything with you guys. Every, everything. Everything. No matter what. My name is JC. I am Ron the Strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage and remember, live for him. Catch you guys on the rebound.